हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज़ लर्निंग एवरेंस इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज ऑफ पाइथन आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दी कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर्स देयर टाइप्स देयर रेस्पेक्टिव प्रोग्राम्स लाइक इटरेटिव स्टेटमेंट्स सिलेक्शन स्टेटमेंट्स एंड प्रोग्राम्स लाइक सिंपल प्रोग्राम्स आई हैव डिस्कस लाइक अर्थमेटिक ऑपरेटर्स प्रोग्राम्स लाइक कैलकुलेटर एंड सम सम काइंड ऑफ लीप ईयर एज वेल एज प्राइम नंबर so you can see them for the further information now in this video this is my tutorial सिक्स video of python in this video i will discuss about a program which which is very much important especially in the नाइन्थ standard of icsc board as well as cbsc board so it is factorial how to find a factorial by using python program means how to find how to make a program of factorial so first we should know about what do you mean by factorial so factorial is like for example 4 this is the sign of factorial or you can write this like this so if we want 4 factorial then its value will be 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 whatever be the value of these product this is the answer of the factorial 4 if we want 3 factorial then for this we will discuss like we will find out this 3 factorial like 1 into 2 into 3 that means 6 this is 24 so the factorial of 4 is 24 and the factorial of 3 is 6 so now in these examples we can say factorial can be defined like factorial can be defined by the product of starting from 1 to the number like 4 ka factorial 4 tak 3 ka 3 tak just like this so now i am starting the program in python first of all for this program we should know about that we have to use a number so number is like num num equal to int input because its value should be in integer integer can be positive negative or positive negative or zero so we already know that the negative numbers doesn't have any factorial so whenever user enter any negative number then their factorial will be not possible whenever a uh, user enter zero then the factorial of zero is 1 and when user enter the positive number then the then our program should be the factorial of that number right so num equal to int input now if num first of all we have to assign the value of factorial is 1 right factorial equal to 1 in this line in this line i am assigning a value this is the assigning operator so i am assigning a value that is 1 to the this variable that is factorial right if num is less than 0 less than 0 means negative then print negative numbers doesn't have factorial okay so this is not possible to find out the factorial of the negative numbers done then alif alif means we can write second another condition in this if num is exact equal to 0 this is the sign of exact equal means agar num ki value less than hai then negative numbers does not have factorial if num is exact equal to 0 because user ka user is free he can uh, he can enter any value so if num is exact equal to 0 so 0 has factorial 
because we already know the factorial of zero is one, right? Zero has factorial one. Now the last condition is as. Else में कोई condition नहीं होगी because less और zero हो चुका है. It means number is positive. Number positive है, then for loop for i in range for iterative statement we use for loop for i in range the range is from 1 because 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 for the 4 factorial right so range starts from 1 and stop point is that number so num and range is always from stop plus 1 means jahan tak stop hoga uska plus 1 that means this step is 1 so by default 1 hi lega isko aap likh bhi sakte ho nahi bhi it's optional right for i in range 1 num plus 1 now factorial is equal to factorial into i then print factor it means first of all before programming the first before uh, in, in in a starting of uh, this program i have assigned the value of factorial is one so first in first case factorial is one i is one one into one one right then number for example i am giving number equal to six then i so in second case i is two so one into two two then in third case factorial is two and this is 2 into 3 it's like this then it will give a factorial of that number which will which will enter by the user thank you so much now the next program is of Fibonacci series Fibonacci series is like 0 then 1 then 0 plus 1 1 then 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 3 8 it's like this up to wherever you want right so there is a program which i am telling you about like printing of this fabonicki series right so first of all you have to know about the fabonicki series now you can write n1 equal to this 0 and 2 equal to 1 because the first value of is 0 so n1 is 0 I am assigning the value of 0 to the n1 and the second one second Fibonacci series value is 1 so I am assigning this 1 to the uh, variable I am taking a variable n1 and n2 whose value is 0 and 1 right and now I am taking a another one num which is means the end point of the Fibonacci series means Fibonacci series ka end number kya hoga wo user defined hoga right it's the input enter by the user that means num is entering by the user now